gentlemen if there are some gentlemen who are following me i should say thank you for the bravery but um, anyway don't worry because i'm going to talk about the both side i'm going to defend also the both side i'm also going to blame the both side when i say both side is the both sex female like male okay because we should take accountability from our mistakes you know and also we should um, appreciate each other <laughs> yeah it's true we should appreciate each other right so um today is wednesday and i'm going to talk about a very serious topic that people don't talk about it is sad but i think if maybe the government could try to do something about it you know maybe put on a law okay that says after two years of being absent in your matrimonial home the marriage is cancelled with the approval from the other party means from your other from the other spouse so let me let me explain clearly what i'm just talking about is the men I'm not talking about the women. I'm, I'm going to talk about the women next week. But today I'm talking about the men. Do me a favor, please. Get out of here. What the men are doing to the women. You cannot marry somebody, doctor. Okay? Because she trusted you. She has given her whole to you. She might have defended your case in front of her entire family for them to approve that. The marriage should go on and you come and marry her promise her everything then you say oh i was not able to make papers for you oh i'm in the process of making papers for you so don't worry you'll see me soon and then you go that is the end it's just calls whenever you want text message whenever you want and only god knows if you are even sending her a petty cash, I'm not saying you should send her money every month, but something to let her know that you are there. But even that, do not exaggerate because she's not a car or a property that you should put in a warehouse. Then when after five, ten years, twenty years, you come down, like, oh, I got a nice car. Oh wow, this car has been five years. I haven't used that car. Let me, you know, let me drive it. My brother, this is bad. This is wickedness. You can't do that to somebody, child. Because let me tell you, whatever you do, you're going to pay it. You are going to pay for it. You are going to pay for it dearly. I am saying, you are going to pay dearly because karma is a bitch. Karma is going to come back after you. <laughs> Surely. Now, <clears throat> I say Kama will come back. Yeah, Kama will come back at you. Don't worry. Keep it up. So, today's title is Ghosted Husband. Ghosted Husband, how? You marry the person. After one month of honeymoon, he disappears. And you don't see him. Maybe after one year. Or after two years. Even after five years. But this guy will be promising you. Oh, I'm working on the papers. I am trying my best for you to come to me. <laughs> hey. No. It's too much. Honestly speaking. Why would you do that? For what reason? Would you have that happiness 
in seeing someone else depriving herself of natural needs means someone by her side attentions i mean emotions love passion and time consuming the time she's supposed to spend with you she spends it alone how stressful can you call yourself i am married okay i am married okay are you happy no are you happy no why because it's been a year i haven't seen my husband how do you feel she walking into a party a wedding a gathering and she sees other people with their partner with their husband and she calls herself married where's your husband oh he's abroad society think 98 percent i'm putting into that level 98 percent into blame me and shame me women who cheat on their partner Okay, let me put it in a general way on their partner okay but in a situation where in a situation where a woman in her late 20s early 30s is married thinking that her husband and her are planning something for her to come and join him outside i mean abroad and suddenly you cut the oxygen she's trying to survive with the attention the sex i mean the touch the communication physical communication and all that and you disappear for two years are you exactly expecting her to have her leg closed for two good years it might happen that one day she will succumb. She will fall into temptation. Yeah. She cannot. After two good years. Are you expecting something different? I'm going to share three stories. Okay. The first story is my story. I was naive. I was innocent. I was mumu. <laughs> I mean, I was all that you could say love is blind. I was blind in love. Okay? And this, my ex-husband, actually when we married, he, I knew his family was based in us but he was working here in ghana after one week of our marriage one evening he calls me in the bedroom of course i'm his wife so and he's like i need to talk to you i don't know how you are going to take it and i was like all right just tell me what is it then he's like i'm traveling on saturday he told me that news on Thursday evening. And I said, hey, isn't it too early? My family doesn't know that you are about to travel. My family think you are going to be with me for good. I mean, if we, you have to travel, I mean, we should be doing the traveling together. Even though I know your family is in the US, I mean, we could go for vacation. And okay he's like uh, don't worry i'm going to come back after one month <laughs> i believed him i believed him 100 percent. and i said all right he went there um on, on the fact that i discovered some um history of cheating on me 
betrayal and faithfulness i mean i still stood firm on my marriage because i wanted it to work i don't care about what whoever will come and tell me oh i slept with your husband or i'm your husband's girlfriend or whatever no i didn't really care about that what i care about was i wanted the marriage to stand to be strong and healthy and for that to be that way i need to fight yeah it's a battle when you enter into marriage it's a battle so he traveled and we had few issues of course but he came back to himself and then after three weeks i'm like ah baby when are you coming back baby say don't worry in two months i'll be back and fortunately for me, I didn't know he resigned from his workplace. Oh yes, he resigned from his workplace. I didn't know. It's later on I got to know because I needed to deliver a letter to his boss. That's why I got to know that he resigned. So I confronted him. You see, a man who wants to abuse you hmm, is a man who does not take things in a mature way. He's a man who avoids taking responsibility into his actions. He's a man who, instead of replying to your question, he would rather twist it and create a fight out of nowhere just to stop you from discovering what, you know, is going on. So, we started having some arguments on phone. And it's true that he said, in fact, let me tell you, I am not coming back to Ghana. <laughs> oh. I said, okay. So when are you coming back? Because we are married. I cannot stay like that. I need to be with my husband. Let me tell you, my people, a husband is a shield. is a protector. is a guardian is a supporter it is also the man of the family the head of the family so if you fail to follow all those duties please wherever you are send a petition um i'm saying send a petition send um file for divorce and let the poor woman go and find the man who is going to stay with her from morning to evening, 24 hours. Because she cannot wake up in the morning and look the other side of the bed, of the bed and realize that there's nobody there. She could say, oh, give me a hug. Or in the evening when she comes home, actually, there's nobody she's going to cook for. It creates depression. So he told me he's going to stay. I'm going to stay in US for five years. And I don't care. I said, okay, for five years, how are we going to do? Are you going to invite me? So then I'll be coming to visit you. Please, my sister. If after three years, am i even going far if after two years this man is telling you that he still not he has still not be able to make the papers for you to even come and visit him is a lie because abroad when they see that that person is married his wife is outside and so so and so and he need um they have a name they give for couple who want to um, meet like you are coming to join your husband abroad that kind of thing they know they will never reject it. There's a procedure to follow. So if after two years he's telling you, ah, the papers, blah, blah, and giving you stories every day, every day, please, quickly go to the court and file for a divorce. You need your, you need, I mean, time is passing. You need to have a healthy relationship and give birth and start your family. I mean, seriously, and you need to make yourself happy. This, my ex-husband told me on the phone, I don't care about what you are going through. You are going to stay five years without me 
and I am not going to, 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 to lay a finger on any document for you to come and visit me. Of course, he was cheating on me again in the US. <laughs> ah, that's it. And that was my life. I stayed for one year, sleeping in churches, praying, crying, wondering why that I don't deserve it. So if you are out there and you are going through such a situation, tell yourself now, 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 as I'm talking, I do not deserve it. Such treatment, I do not deserve it. And so go and file for divorce. You cannot stay five years alone wearing a useless ring. I call it useless because the use of wearing this it, it, is a commitment of two parties. You are supposed to be together under the same roof. You are supposed to build a family together. You are supposed to build projects together. You are supposed to travel together. You are supposed to do so many things together. So if after five years your husband is still telling you stories here and there, my sister, shine your eyes. I beg. This one, no, it's a big no, okay? I'm now coming to talk about story number two. That one broke my heart. Story number two is a beautiful woman. After what I heard, she was a very, very beautiful woman. And uh, a friend of hers was having a wedding or whatever, and then she went there and met that friend of hers, the cousin. And the cousin coming from abroad, yeah? <laughs> or abroad, or foreign country, show interest in her. And so, of course, she's single, beautiful, and everything. She also wants to have a family. She agreed to date the guy. But the guy told her, you know, I'm not living in the country. I'm outside. She's okay, fine. I mean, if you are willing to make sure that relationship is going to work, then let's do it. Then, three or six months later, the guy comes back. And they marry. The marriage came out fast. Why? Because... He told her, I need to do it first so then I can prepare your papers over there for you to come and be with me. Afterwards, the marriage, I mean the wedding and everything, the guys told, told her, pack your things and go and stay in my family house. I went through that mistake. I beg. I was fetching water, washing, washing dishes and all that. Let's put it aside. Then, because of the love of her husband, oh my God, baby, I love you. <laughs> okay, I'll do it because I love you. Society in Africa said, in order to get the love from your spouse, you know, you must listen to him. In order to have peace in the marriage, you must listen to your husband and say, yes, yes, yes. You know, and sometimes you should look at the whole situation from another angle and that's what she did and that's what i also did my husband asked me to move into my family in law house and because i didn't want to bring any issue i wanted to be the good wife and everything i agreed and so the lady also agreed she went to stay in a very very big house no house help there were only two elderly people a man and a woman who are the husband parents and fuck me for her the mom was sick and she need attention then madame went to move into the family in-law house and that's where all her trouble started the man left every month he was sending Western Union. And at that time, the lady was working. It came to a point where the supposed husband told her to leave her job. Leave your job. I'll cover for you. How much is your salary? I'll pay more than that. Just stay at home and look after my parents because my mom is sick. And she still agreed because of the love she has for him. After one year, Mr. Husband says, hey, I got some issue, blah, 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 I can't come. 
but every month he was sending money to her for her to look after his parents and she herself in a certain way but unfortunately the money he was sending was not even the kind of money that she could save aside to start a small business mm -mm. it was the kind of money when you start using it you finish that very day so madame started complaining when are you coming back i'll come i have some papers issue i have this i have this and the lady asked me how far about my papers oh don't worry uh, we work on that it's still in the process and so so and so and this guy ruined ruined her life for 11 years i said 11 years when i heard that story i wept my dear ladies i felt i felt so bad i was like why 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 would you do that what has she done to you? The crime she committed was to fall in love with you and accept to marry you. Now look. After 11 years, apparently, she became house help. Looking after the entire family. I mean, the father and the mother. Whether it's a house help. If you want to take in a house help, why don't you take in a house help? Instead of going and marry somebody that you abandon and you don't even show a little concern. You know, it's wickedness. After 11 years, <laughs> guess what? This guy comes home. But not alone. He comes home with a white woman and four children. <laughs> I don't know how I just don't know how i don't know how i just don't know how how am i gonna take it she ran mad i didn't do it the woman ran mad <sighs> you see my dear sister if you are in that situation i am begging you i am pleading with you go and file for divorce because even when we talk about it to the government the government i don't know what the government is going to do maybe the only thing they can do is after two years of you being absent in your marriage of you not fulfilling your marital duties the marriage is automatically cancelled that would be so nice but i don't know let's see how it goes because this is the society we are into African women are so, so, so deprived of so many things. Yeah. So, actually, I have a friend of mine who is going through the same thing. She got married in 2014. As of today, she doesn't even have one child. The so-called husband comes once in a year and he spent two weeks. Then he goes back. Sometimes he doesn't even come at all the whole year. He doesn't even appear. But he buys her cars. He sends her money. We do not need that. Women want attention and love. Please. Please. Especially that you are out of the country. Oh, man, you, you have to start thinking twice. It's not fair. And my women... We are in that situation, far for divorce. Stop. Stop it. That my friend. Last time I met her, she said, I real, I am tired of being alone. I need a man. Of course, somebody who is like 36. What are you expecting? Are you expecting her to just be jumping from man to man? No. She needs something stable. And stable means she needs her husband. It's sad. I feel so bad for her. Because she's wearing a ring. And <coughs> who would want to sleep with somebody's wife? Unless you are cursed that you go after somebody's wife. You should respect yourself. You can't go after. So for her to be free, she needs to break that marriage and remove that ring so she can move on. <sighs> it saddens me that society is allowing this kind of treatment. 
but well um all i can say is if you are not happy if you know this marriage has been dead for so many years it is time to say bye bye it is time to move on to turn the page I say it's time to turn the page and move on with your life because you cannot have a ghosted husband no what is his duty if he's not doing his duty the way he's supposed to let that marriage go because you must know that there should be a time for you to procreate there must be a time for you to also be happy think about that it's up to you so my dear ladies i'm going to end on this program for today today i'm shining <laughs> i went to work so they did some makeup for me yeah i'm shining i'm shining <laughs> So, my ladies, I'm going to be serious with you. Um, if you're not happy, just 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 divorce, okay? You cannot be somebody property to be put on into a warehouse and be waiting, be waiting. No. Think about your happiness. That's what I can say. And I want to thank you for your time. Have a nice evening. Today is Wednesday and Saturday we are going to talk about something very juicy. Very juicy on Saturday. It's always juicy on Saturday. So, don't miss. Don't miss. Saturday is always juicy. Don't miss it. That's all I can say. So, please kindly like, comment, comment. Where are my subscribers? I want you to comment. Comment, please. Give me some ideas. Give me some gist. You know, and if there's something you want to add up for me to talk about, put it below the comment section. And I'll come on it. Right? So, have a nice evening. And see you on Saturday. Do not forget to subscribe, please. If you're a new subscriber or a new viewer and you are just checking out my channel, I'll be pleased that you subscribe, that you share with your friends, and then we can evolve. Evolve. Yeah. Thank you and have a nice evening.